just just thing just thing but boom but pow okay welcome back guess who's back guess who's back but back again Ole. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. I don't mean a revolution, but violence. You know I hate violence. I mean a revolution of thought, the idea. Now, the last video I did about Kanye and the shirts, right? The white matter shirts, white lives matter shirts, which they do matter. And I'm happy that the video was well received because I was, it was like 6 a.m. I just wanted to speak on it, but you, you could have heard I was super tired. And actually, I come to find out I wasn't just tired, I was sick. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I was, I don't know what I had. Could have been, I can't say on YouTube, the C word. Could have been strep throat. Could have been nothing. Could have been just too much. Uh uh uh. I'm leaning like a kickstand. You know what I'm talking about? The purple drink. Which I'm quitting, by the way, after what I got. Funny enough, I try to use it as medicine. I don't recommend. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I felt like the video was was um. It wasn't my best video, and I wanted to follow up, and you guys know I don't cover news. This is not a news show. I am not DJ, what was it, Academics or Charlemagne the God? I'm not that, right? The only time I will talk about something going on in the pop culture is when there is a moral of the story. Um, Hassan, if you're watching this, you know, he likes to say a lot of y'all copy my style. Hassan, I took inspiration from you. That's right. I also defended you. I never shied from giving you credit. I never shied from supporting you even with my own money, super chats. So, you know, maybe, maybe support the young guy as well, you know, one time, you know? I'm not in New York with you. I got a hundred guns, a hundred clips. And I'm from New York. Chill out. All right? And at the end of the day, I share your message. And I give you credit. And I got my own style going on, right? Shout out to Brett Johnson. A.K.A. Gullum Fun. If you don't know who Brett is, Brett used to be a... Actually, not, not one of... The most prominent cyber criminal in the world. He was on the U.S. Secret Service, most wanted. He got caught, escaped, caught again, served time, but now he's out, he's older, and he's actually working with companies, cybersecurity, doing conferences, educating people on how to prevent fraud. He's a good guy now. Good guy, bad guy. A good guy by society's, uh, uh, uh. again, I think good and bad are really, because it's objectives. Good and bad depends who you ask, right? But he's doing good nonetheless and harmless. He ain't doing nothing but educating and speaking. Matter of fact, he's a colleague of mine, a YouTuber, except YouTube felt like he violated the terms of community and guidelines. YouTube, I can think of the top of my hand, like 10 creators, like Logan Paul. Let's just be honest. I don't think Logan should be mad. I don't think anyone should be deplatformed, to tell the truth. But... Logan is doing good. He got his brother. He got boxing. If you take his YouTube, he's chilling. He can go to Rumble. But don't take away Gollum Fun. Don't take away Brett's stuff, man. Dude is only trying to do good. Like, 
Listen, I'm going to tell you like something like this, right? I turned my life around. I didn't get to the point where Brett did with fraud, where it ended up like going to most one. <laughs> Never that. But I turned my life and tried to make something positive out of it. Crime pays. Crime is easy money. You know what kind of man you have to be to leave easy money and do something positive, even if it means less money? Like, a person, especially like Brett, it takes a lot from you, bro, to say, you know what? Yes, I can go do fraud and make 100000 a day or whatever he was making or whatever people make. Now, I don't know. But he chose to go the route of YouTube. Uh, he, I asked him, well, why'd you get banned? He said he spoke about ladies of the night. I don't know how he spoke about them, but... It could have been that. It could have been the situation with the Secret Service torturing a, a, a minor uh, 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 arrestee in the Shadow Crew case. By the way, if you haven't been keeping up, Shadow Crew is what the last few documentaries have been about. Expect a third part coming and a fourth. It's a four-part series. Trust me, I work hard, huh? That's why I was so sick and tired. But again, I think what YouTube did is unfair. YouTube, you guys let your pet, teacher's pets, creators, teacher's pet creators, get away with so much BS. Like, they threaten other creators. Like, I don't, listen, man, I'm a liberal, believe it or not. But the past two years, Everything just went extreme, far right, far left. I'm a liberal. Yes, me. But nowadays, conservatives are the new liberals. I, I am for freedom of speech. I am for everyone expressing. I support LGBT, actually. I clown them here and there, but I support them. I have friends in that community. I used to live in Saudi Arabia. I had a gay friend. The thing about my gay friend, he wasn't like the gay friends that I meet now in the West where it's like, how dare you? Uh, what was it? Miss, what was it? When you don't say the right pronoun, what was the word? Mispronounce, mispronounce me, misgender me. Excuse me, sir. Sir, you got a beard and all. How dare you call me, sir? Man, listen, the gay friend I had in high school I knew he was gay because he told me. But looking at him, you would never know. I clowned him about it, but he would clown me too, like here and there. But when the tough got to being tough, he was a solid N, like a ninja, a solid ninja. A solid dude. What he did in his bedroom, I would have never known. And when people tried to attack him, on the, on the grounds of just him being what he is, I was the one to defend him. Imagine I defended him in a place like Saudi. Just defending him would have cost me my life. I mean, now it's okay. Shout out to the new king, Mohammed bin Salman. But back then, that was a death penalty. Just being that what he was, right? So I'm a tolerant guy. I love everybody. I also believe everybody could talk about everybody and critique everybody. You have the freedom of speech. You have the freedom to call me the N. Yes. You're a white dude. You don't like me. Get on here. Call me N. Cool. Sp say what you got to say. I believe in your right to say it even if it offends me. Censorship is dangerous, whether it's for me or against me. If someone, if a rapper drop a diss song and I take down his diss song, I lost the beef in the rap world, right? I shouldn't take down his diss song. I should diss him harder. In science, if you come up with a good theory or some great science like Nikola Tesla, and then Thomas Edison comes and hides you from the world and claims he made the light bulb, which he didn't, Spreading misinformation. They got this new rule, misinformation. What is that? 
Get this out of here, bro. I believe in freedom of speech even when it's against me. You want to criticize me, come and criticize me. I should be able to defend myself. You guys want to say Andrew Tate did this, did that. Cool, but let him come defend himself. That's how the justice system works. That's how life should work. YouTube is a private company. Sure, I'm a private company. I can do what I want, make my own rules. But if I become a monopoly on speech, like people keep people say they got Rumble, they got whatever else. I don't like shout out to Rumble, and I, I I'm gonna sign up because friends of mine is on there. Cool, but even Rumble is dependent on ad money. So watch out. I explained in my censorship video, even Rumble one day can turn into YouTube. Because it's not like Netflix. They're not depending on your money. Depending on ads. So they run the show. They might be nice now. Yay, freedom. freedom. So people are used to YouTube for the meantime. It's just dominant. When you meet a girl in the club, you're going to ask for her Instagram or Snapchat. You're not going to be like, hey, baby, you got Telegram? You got Signal? Signal? Relax, bro. Okay? They're dominant, whether you like them or not. So while we can, we can try to move on there as a people, sure. But for the meantime, you're not going to go up to a girl in the club and be like, hey, baby, what's your ICQ? What's your Signal? Nobody's saying that. So for the meantime... Susan with Kiki, baby, please. Kiki, do you love me? Please, please. I'm not going to defend Tate. I get it. He's, okay, cool. Even though I like Tate two years ago. Not for girls, for business, motivation. He's a motivational dude. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave Tate. I don't, Tate is rich. My boy, Brett, leave him alone. Like, are you trying to force him twist his arm to go back to the dark web? Come on, man. He's doing positive. He inspired me to do positive. He can inspire someone else in the world to do positive. Take down the video. Give him a warning. But the whole channel, that's unfair. And the process of appealing, for me, has been successful and fair when someone uh, 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 misreported me. But Please, let Brett back on. Brett Johnson, good dude, too. Humble. He, he watched the documentary. He actually found it funny. Shout out to Brett. Make sure you follow him on his Twitter and stuff. I'll leave it here or in the description. Um, the show is coming back. He said... The show will be coming back on Spotify and stuff. And I'm trying to get him back on YouTube. So if YouTube was watching, please. Like, he really didn't do nothing that crazy. Like, there's people doing worse. Let him back, huh? Okay. The world needs people like this. What else? Yeah. Um. Moral of the story. This is what I was going to speak about. So it's going on the internet. So King, the uh, yellow, or yellow, light skin uh, dude, the T.I., the rapper's son, has been going at Charleston White. I'm not sure how it started, but he keeps, and I, I don't know what happened, but it ended up with him antagonizing Charleston White. King is trying to play this persona. I'm not going to play anything. You can look up because they curse too much, both of them. Charleston White, if you didn't know, he, he is the type to call the police. Now, I guess King, he was like, Charleston, you're a B. You're a B. I'm going to beat your A. Charleston said, oh. But at least he called the DA, the same DA that is, is that put Young Thug behind bars in Atlanta. 
Here's the thing, though. King, he, he even said, I can tell you had a rough upbringing. Let's uh, soft upbringing. King, this man served time for homicide. I said this before in my videos, but I'll say it again for you, King. King, when you're really from that life, from poverty, and you do what these people did or what you're claiming, pretending to, there's nothing wrong with being nonviolent. Doesn't make you a P U S S Y, doesn't. You don't have to be a gangster. Hit the gym, King. You can afford a gym membership. Why are you so skinny? Your dad is a millionaire. He's taking care of you. Hit the gym, bro. If I had the time to hit the gym, I would be back on my A game. But I don't. I'm busy. Maybe I'll hit the gym when I'm rich. King. Leave the OG alone. I'm not going to be like Hassan and tell you they should have whipped your A. Because I got my A whooped when I was a child. And I think it made me good. It made me a man. But I can see how it hurt me. And I'm still not sure if I will whip my kids when, when they're at that age. I don't know what I'll do. So I'm not going to be that guy. You probably heard that a million times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to speak to you as a, I'm 24. I'm not like these old guys. I'm closer to you in age. So I'm going to tell you, where I grew up, King, we respected our elders. When you speak to an older man, I understand social media, and I see your Instagram part. I didn't. I don't have the account. I just see screenshots where you, you know, got locked up and you posted the thing F twelve. I've been through all that in life. Maybe around your age or younger, and one day you will mature, King, and you gotta appreciate what your dad is doing. For you financially, go get educated. You don't want to take the education route. Cool. Save up some money, start you a business, go into the business world. Then, if Charleston disrespects you and you clap at him, first of all, you won't clap with violence and, oh, you're a B. You're, it's not about being tough, it's about having money. Charleston follows me, see, but I, shout out to Charleston White, but I'm not gonna. Like I'm not I'm not being biased. I'm just being honest. Charleston is a comedian, he's gonna do what he do. Me? When someone disrespects me at this age, I don't choose violence. I choose something worse. That will shut them up. You're broke. I tell him, you're broke. But I don't have daddy's money. I have my own hard work, sweat, and tears. So I can tell someone you're broke and not feel, you know, it's my work, hard work. So King, people like you, like Donald Trump, he was born rich, but he took a small loan of a million dollars from his dad and made something out of himself. Now when people think of Donald, they don't think of his rich dad, they think of him. That's my advice from you, for you. That's what I would do if I was in your position. That's the way to gain respect. A lot of these kids of rich folks, or famous fo rich folks, feel like they live under the shadows of their, you know, like they, King wants to be King, not T.I.'s son, you know? So maybe he might act out and stuff, but like, King, you're not from the streets. Soft upbringing, you had a soft upbringing. Doesn't make you less of a man. Just learn to play the cards you got, and hopefully you mature from this. Leave Charleston alone. Don't threaten him. Laugh with him. He's funny. He just gave you clout. But don't end up in jail because of it. 
I hope you don't. And I'm done with King. I've said what I've said. Now I'm coming to T.I. Ay, ay, ay. T.I., you're too old. You're too old, and T.I., you're from a little bit my generation, okay? So you're from the era where if you... You would get your A whooped when you acted out. I'm not saying you should whip King. First of all, King is old now. Maybe he gets a censor at 2059. Maybe he gets his A whooped once or twice. But um, for the most part... Look, social media not only affected these kids into trying to live into a, up to a tough, tough guy image, it also affected grown men. T.I., you said it at your own mouth. You're a business guy. You're not seeking violence. You're not seeking none of that crazy stuff. So don't, don't get on the, don't get on the ground. <clears throat> Until Charleston, if I would, if you would have met me and walked away uh, safe, you're doing the same thing you, that got your son in trouble. I understand it can be conflicting as a as a father, and that's your son. Whether he's right or wrong, you want to defend him, and that's good. That's family, but. You gotta be accountable as well, right? I know you probably had private account, and he's he's a grown man now, eighteen. But if I was a father, I'd tell my son, "Man, wait, are you are you stupid, bro? Hey, your son, I didn't raise you to be a, a gangster. Why are you on Instagram threatening? To, I I taught you to respect your elders. I understand you're my son." until you have your own money, until you bust up, then you can do what you want. Then end up in jail, and if it's on you. But for now, you're T.I.'s son, and you better act like T.I.'s son. I raised you better, you respect your elders. So what if he clowned you, laugh with him? If you go to jail again, for threatening somebody or doing something stupid, especially when I raise you and taught you not to do it, don't expect me to come help you every time, son. I'm sorry. It's the last time. Okay? As far as Charleston go, reach out in private. Not go on Instagram live. I'm cutting off people who didn't support. Support what? It's not a mixtape you're dropping. It's the sun. Acting up. Have conversations. Don't go to the public and, and, and make it worse and end up in beef with Charleston. Charleston, that's what he does, man. He's a comedian. But I'm not going to go too hard because it's family. And these situations can be sensitive. Because you get conflicted. He's like, I don't know. It's your son, right? You got to defend him, whether he's right or wrong. And I can respect that. But I just got to give my two cents in, which is different from everybody, right? Hassan, you say people copy you. I'm not copying you on this, right? This is different. So you know. And sort it out, maybe you and Charleston can become friends, right? And, and, and have a talk together one day on camera. Right? We're all black men. We're a black community. Instead of tearing each other all day, how about we get together and spread positivity and lead by example? You hear me, T.I.? Lead by example. Don't do the same thing 
that your, your son is in trouble, right? Like you're setting a horrible example. You say you inspire people, well, you inspired them wrong. King, I'm not absolving you of responsibility. You're old enough to know better. If you do get locked up, I don't wish it on you, but maybe God is trying to wake you up and, and, and shake you up to realize the blessings you have. Hopefully you can come out a king for real, even though you're light-skinned like me, but you're still a black and you should live up to be a king like what the ancestors would have wanted and set an example for your kids and the next generation. That's the moral of the story here. Don't make it worse. You gotta be accountable where we, where, when we're in the wrong. That's how we get better. It's bad enough for the black community. We hate each other. We hate on each other. We rap about boom, boom, boom at each other and effing each other's bees. Selling smack and, and, and dog to each other. Like, come on. For the outside parties, excuse me. I've said this to many people, I've, I'll say it again. For the people chiming in, I understand this entertainment is what you do, so I can't hate it. But be like me. If you have nothing positive to say, don't put fuel on the fire for your own benefit. Because w when you fuel the fire so much, and someone ends up, pop, you don't sit down and serve the time, and your family don't sit and cry. So have a conscience. If you have a platform, a voice, use it wisely. Okay? That goes for anybody, even the guys I rock with. It's honest criticism. I like you guys, I watch you, but come on, let's not fuel the fire. I'll come and fight you. No, why? This is a kid, this is a senior citizen. Don't let this rap game fuel the fire too much. We're not... Don't turn the rap game to the hunger game. Or squid games. Because winning in such situations is not worth it. Winning is equally as bad as losing in such situations. It's a lose lose. The guy who, what? He's gonna serve time and lose his whole career. The guy who gets, he's gonna sit in the grave. And his family cries and mourns him. And why, you know? Hopefully the future can change and I can start the revolution of idea. Hit like, smash subscribe, here or here. I know YouTube updated, especially if you're on PS4. So it's like somewhere here, okay? Hit like, smash subscribe, leave me a comment in the for the algorithm. I would appreciate if you're afraid of sharing me, that means you're a crab and crabs stay in a bucket. So if you're not a crab, spread the positive message. Um, I'm gonna send this to Charleston, but you guys helped me get their attention. Shout out to everyone who chimed in positively and wished me to feel better. I feel somewhat better, though it still hurts when I drink, but I, I swallow so. Okay, free Brett Johnson and people move to Rumble, but I still want to stay YouTube because I love it. I, can, I believe Susan maybe can hear me out. Okay, Susan? Love you. Susan is attractive. I mean no harassment. I actually like the way she, I like older women. Call me what you want to call me. 
Sousa, if you want to experiment with a younger dude, listen, I'm 24, but don't let this, I'm, I was hanging out with older folks when I was 16, so like, I'm, I don't want to speak too much, but you, man. hit like, smash it up, blah, 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 blah. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Use this. Don't let people hype you up. End up in stupid situations. You gonna let them talk to you like that? Then you go and do boom, and you're doing 40, 25 to life. You're gonna do it by yourself. The guy that was hyping you up, telling you, you gonna let him talk? He's not gonna do the time for you. Use this. This is not a video game. This is real life. Love wins. You wanna take revenge? Success is the best revenge. Peace out.